basketball, a not so popular sport in Nigeria, clearly overshadowed by football. But according to the organizers of this event, all that is about to change, as these secondary school students are being prepared for the future. This is Power Forward, put together by ExxonMobil in collaboration with AfriCare and the National Basketball Association, NBA. This idea, they, 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 they're committed, they're passionate, and they understand the impact of such a program have on the, on the, on the children. The Power Forward program, which is in its fifth year, goes beyond the game of basketball to helping the students do better in other aspects of their lives. Ensuring that the children are getting health education, that they should get, and this ensures that as they get older, they also adopt good, healthy living habits. They've been coached, they've been uh, enhanced in terms of their understanding and awareness about education, about leadership, about things that have to do with public health, so malaria is our core focus. Two former NBA players were also present to show support. When they know the program, uh, they graduated from it, and now you're going to see the development of basketball getting better and better each and every year. Oh, Nigerian basketball, are we really doing uh, in the international stage? We're doing good so far, so good. But locally, administrative wise, um, I'm really so sad and bitter about it. In the boys' final, Government Secondary School Karu emerged winners over Government Secondary School Airport, while Model Secondary School Maitama defeated Government Girls Secondary School Gariki in the girls' final. There was also a performance by Nigerian singer Simi. Power Forward is also part of the Junior NBA's initiative of the NBA, which has reached more than 26 million youths in 71 countries.